All right, we're up at the cabin. Just got up here. Ray Dog's there. It's getting dark. It's getting dark. Well, around here it is because the sun's not hitting it. And I gotta replace this charge controller. It uh, totally fried all my batteries. It's last season and it's it's a nice one. It's a Xantrex C40, but gotta replace it with a uh, something that works. So, oh my god. This little cheapo 10 amp, but working charge controller is better than one that doesn't work. So, it's a lot cheaper than my batteries that fried. So it's, it's too bad this thing was supposedly top of the line. It was actually overkill for our needs. 40 amps, it's a C40 model, uh, 12, 24, or 48 volts. You could uh, set set the float charge level and the bar bulk charge voltage, so two different things. Uh, three different voltage selections you can reset to manual equalize. Tons of controls on this thing. Um, but I have read a few reviews that say the same thing as mine, it just killed their batteries. And the status light never really said the status so I like too bad I like Xantrex they're a local company too in Washington but um, this is the new one and I just gotta wire it up so let's do that now I have to put the camera down all right in the time that you guys took back in the trailer up like, I've already this? I'm like dude are you doing this all <laughs> so we sit like 15 feet outside <laughs> He's like, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> they came off the hitch. There's Mr. Trailer right there. No, so that's already rewired. You can see, I just took a black Sharpie and a red Sharpie. White ones are positive. I'll flip that down. These ones make it real easy. Hey, it's a solar panel. Positive, negative. That's the battery. This is the load. The old one, I had to connect the load right to the battery, which I didn't like, because this one has a disconnect. If the battery gets too low, it'll disconnect. Um, it's a little too low for my liking, though. It's 10.8 volts, and that if your battery is 10.8 volts, you are hurting. Um, it's a little battery gauge, so. All right, let's hook it up. Secret hatch. Oh, there's a battery. Yeah, so see, this nice Optima deep cycle, yellow top is probably toast honestly just got way too, way too overcharged 150 watts there was another battery in here too and they're both toast I think so let's check it out yeah look at this setup I think your trailer was kind of maxed out because the axle was kind of bending in <laughs> well, like the tires, you could see the tires were just kind of, they angle in when it's really heavy. Nice. Like my boat does too. Dude, nice. I mean, there's probably as much wood as four-wheeler on this thing. <laughs> Fuck. Especially that one. <laughs> so that one over That one was unsplittable. Eventually this, this hatch will have four batteries in it. If I get the other two, they're underneath the cabin. This battery I just got out of the dump the other day. Been trying to recondition it. Alright, 12-2. That'll work for tonight. And then tomorrow morning, hopefully, we got 150 watts of solar panel power charging this up. I'm just going to connect one of these tonight, deal with it tomorrow to see what uh, what kind of state. I think there's a lighter in here. 
You gotta come get it. Uh, look, look into one of those Tupperware containers or by the fire. All right. Oh, he says there's a load, huh? I wonder what the load is. Battery's got two thirds charge. Oh wait, this isn't even on, so weird. I wonder if this means the load's connected. Okay. So that should be on. Let's see if we have power. Oh yeah, we have power. Cabin's getting almost done. Gotta paint it the spring. What do you got going on over here, Justin? Bacon. Well, that fire is hot. Yeah, it's this one. Oh yeah, it looks great. Look at that chili. Tons of spices. Onions. Is that your own chili mix? It's raining. So it's gonna be snowing. Yeah, like my beer tastes a lot better than your whiskey. Yeah, I brought a steak and a salmon. Pour it? Yeah, if you can. No way. <laughs> 